Sochi. Alright, Sochi with the Teemo hat, yes, okay. Styling and profiling, alright, Sochi. I mean, hey, look, you well deserve Pentakill on yeah. the Trindamir here. How does it feel? Oh, I feel great, man. I just uh, turned 20 today. Today is actually my birthday, and just being able to drop a Pentakill like that on such a dominant game on Trindamir feels amazing. Yeah, I mean... You guys haven't lost in like three weeks. You get a pentakill on your birthday. I, I feel like everything's just going right for you guys. Yeah, I mean, Scrim's have been going well. I spoke with you yesterday. Hopefully yeah. I was going to get a, a more entertaining pick for you and I'm glad I could deliver today. You absolutely did. I, we saw the Trindomir and we were just like, all right, let's see what ha ends up happening. You just spin to win. Beyblade, yeah. let it rip. Everything, man. You can use every analogy. It was. Disgusting, honestly, to be able to see on the screen. I want to go ahead and hit on the fact that you guys, yet again, have had a very fantastic 2-0 here. Um, how has it been for you guys? Are you guys still taking every... Is comms breaking down at all because you guys are having these big games? Or are you guys still, to the very end, serious as can be? Um, Game 1, we had some pretty good comms still. But in Game 2, so Meech actually fell behind pretty bad in the early game. And something we haven't really experienced much like he's always been that that rock that we can rely on so it was the team was kind of getting a little shaky like especially playing against tf that can teleport wherever he wants and then pick someone off uh things got a little dicey in terms of palms but we were able to keep it together and find some nice picks that led to a baron in the end and we had a pretty solid closing game i think because i think winston found a really nice ult onto jinx in that final fight and we were just able to take out their only threat in the gym. And Winston is a player that's very interesting to talk about because <laughs> of the fact that Winston has probably been the most aggressive in terms of actually ganking early on inside the game. How have you guys been feeling? Is Winston just always talking when it comes down to this early game? Like, yo, I'm coming to your lane whether you like it or not, and we're going to make a play happen. Yeah, so Winston's obviously the most like experienced out of all of us. He used to play on Academy, and he's just been really valuable in terms of everyone's like growth as a player and he really leads the comms the most and kind of sets apart or what sets apart him from him from the rest is his ability to make a bunch of these creative plans and find all these unique gank angles that can get us a nice early lead yeah, we saw it time and time again and i want to also highlight a player that we haven't really talked about too terribly much uh because we we spend a lot of time talking about like anime girl and winston meet yourself trevor has been a player who i've been very impressed with the growth of them honestly at the very beginning they've been just getting better as the series has gone on how has that been with trevor and of course meet in the bot lane has been a solid rock for y'all yeah i think trevor has definitely improved a lot just from the beginning of the split in general. Uh, you always hear about the Meech and Trevor pairing, but I think Trevor usually gets overshadowed from Meech's like crazy CS or crazy team fighting. Mm. But he's been working really hard, I can tell, and all of his map movements and team fighting, it's been getting a lot better. And I guess you can still te teach an old dog new trick because <laughs> people usually comment on, on his age, but I feel like he still has a lot of room to go and maybe go academy. Hey, look, just saying, he if it wasn't for him, might not have gotten that pentakill at the end there. Right? That's very like, true. That's very true. He, he was the bait that started it all off. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> well, with that being said, it's your birthday, Sochi. What what you got planned? You picked up a dub. You punched your ticket in even further into the qualifier. What's next for you? Is it solo queue? What it, what's going on? Probably gonna take a little break from solo queue for tonight at least. Get on the grind tomorrow for half. Uh Probably just gonna go eat some good food, hang out with some friends, talk to my girlfriend, you know. Hola. That sounds like a fantastic plan. Well deserved as well. You've been doing quite a bit of work here today. With that being said, Shochi, I asked you yesterday to say something to your fans, that people have been cheering your team. I wanna know before we go. Who you got your eyes on inside the mid lane? You got possibly four teams coming on. Is there a mid laner that can provide a challenge to Shochi? Yeah, I think our next match is against Golden Guardians Academy, and I've never really played against Ryoma. Uh, it's going to be really exciting to play against a former LCS player. I know I struggled a little bit playing against Insanity, like in scrims, for example. 
Well, I think Ryoma will definitely be a tough opponent to take down, but I'm sure I can take him down if the team comes, performs on that day, so I'm not feeling too worried. All right, light the confidence there. We'll have to see exactly what comes about from it and see if Immortals uh, AOE's Rampage continue as you guys beat Taco Tuesday on their one day. Right, as right. you said, you're the, the kryptonite to Taco Tuesday. Exactly. <laughs> that being said, thank you everybody who came in. Thank you Sochi for coming in for this interview. Make sure you stay tuned for more action. The Unified game is still happening over onto the other stream at this current moment in time. So make sure you go over there, tune into that action to see who the last team to punch their tickets into the semis is. And make sure you stay tuned for more Academy action, lock in. And then next week, Monday, Tuesday, we back at it to close this qualifier off. So make sure you stay tuned, same place, same time. And we will see you all then. Have yourselves a fantastic night and happy birthday, Sochi. Thank you very much. Thank you.